Why are you wasting our time? The Griffin Dynasty didn't grow by listening to Shrieking, really? Oh, hey, everypony. Newly here, and today we're here to play some more Stellaris, everypony. It's been a while, and I just came back into the game and was greeted by this um, very, very loudmouth Griffins who were, like, really annoyed that they were my neighbors. But apparently, there's a bunch of dragons here that hated me, and now they, um, they're basically under... Earth Pony rule, and if they do anything such as raise their voices at us, Applejack's gonna shut them up. Wait. Um, that's not an Earth Pony. Thorax, if you're gonna be an Earth Pony, at least, you know, change. Wait, what? Um... Commercial Pact, I guess. Anyway, we want to make sure that if the Griffins do actually decide that coming in here is a good choice, that they will regret it and that we set to send them home packing every pony. Sheesh, look at these tiny griffins. Anyway, they don't have like a lot of space anyway. So what if some of their space just slipped under the table of Equestria and ended up in, um, you know, my backyard? Um, no seriously every pony. We're gonna eradicate these griffins if they're gonna play like this. Let's go and claim things. Huh? Wire philosophy. Let me change that real quick. <laughs> no. Unrestricted wars. Ah. And now we can claim them as much as we want. <laughs> oh, you griffins think just because you're complaining about us being allowed that we're going to spare you? Oh, really now? We don't do that around here, griffins. You pesky little creatures. Have really really done your last breaths around here wait what there's a pegasus and okay wait that's not a pegasus either that's also changeling sheesh what if everyone's ruled by changelings every pony no pony would know well i ain't no changeling no changeling can do what i do i bet the bet on that every pony absolutely bet on that you try to find one changeling who can do leaf logic i'll be waiting every pony Let's see, we got a whole bunch of ships, every pony. Let's take a look at our uh, fleet manager. I want to see if I can get a whole bunch of ships down there and just start swarming the guy. Construction complete. Oh, what did we make? Um. I, oh, look at this. We made a research institute, every pony. This means more learning. Now let's talk about some of the modifications that happen in this mod pack while all the ships are moving get a little bit of time here so of course you have your pictures here but um you have the government itself which is pony fight you even have pony civics every pony um so here we have the unicorn mo monarchy and you know we chose unicorns and then that basically means you know unicorns are smart and they're good at science what's this elixir of life what ah, i don't know what any of that is um what about Starlight Glimmer? What does she even have? She likes to likes building destroyers and we get more influence. Actually, influence is great because- Oh! Look at the Pegasi! The Pegasi are completely attacking them. <laughs> Wait. The Pegasi are attacking them. This is our war. Alright, we're turning this into a, um, you know, one-on-one-on-one. -on -one -on -one. We're fighting Pegasi. And Griffins, if we have to. The, the Pegasus, I don't like this either, every pony. So you know what? Under attack. Oh, really? Oh, really now? <sighs> Whatever, you silly old pirates. Just go up there real quickly and beat the pirates up. I mean, they, they have to spawn, like, right now as I was about to declare war onto someone. Because if the Griffins are fighting with the Pegasi, and the Pegasi maybe also be, you know, a little weak because they're fighting, complete. or make her weak from fighting, we could turn this into a war where we can quickly dismantle both of them if no one's expecting me in it. I think I like where this is going, every pony. This is this is how I, how I sometimes like fighting, every pony, is, you know, when you have two big things fighting each other and they wear themselves down, you can join the war. And turn this into a fair fight, and if you do very well, you can beat both of those big things and become the Alpha Predator, every pony. Oh, more science. 
Let's give me more habitability. Research rivals. Complete. Earth ponies have declared Griffin's rivals, every pony. Let's see. Do earth ponies like, um... Well, they're sort of getting along with the Pegasi, but they have closed their borders to them. Um, gateway travel. Oh, this means we can build little gates, every pony, and travel in between them, every pony. It makes it so we can, like, have a gate here and come down over here in one jump. So now that the pirates have been, you know, sent home, packing... Research complete. It's time that we take this... Wait. Huh? Where did the Pegasi fleet go? Did those guys get destroyed? If those guys get got destroyed, we definitely are just... <laughs> That's just begging for us to enter the war at this point and say, Hello, we weren't invited, but we're here anyway. Complain, if you will. It won't do you any good. Ugh. Um, We're gonna build a building here, but it's gonna take a little while until we do so. Um, more science, please. Construction complete. Okay, every pony. With this, I declare war onto the Griffins. Wait, changelings are gonna. Where, where's the changelings at? Are changelings even gonna be able to reach us? I don't think so. Okay, they would be able to reach us, but they'd also have to come through here. So, in other words, this is gonna be a war that we're gonna have to be very quick about. Okay, pause. Pause right now. We have griffins that are just inside of our borders. We're gonna start this war by, you know, declaring war while, while they're in here and basically tell them, Hey, we declared war and you're on the wrong side of the border. <laughs> oh, isn't that just your bad luck, bad lucky day, huh? Declare war. Declare war. Go! Ah! We have declared war. Alright, griffins. Playtime's over. You guys have been... Soften up by the Pegasi, and I'm coming in. Wait. Oh, I know why the Pegasi are retreating. Look, that's because the Pegasi and the, the Changelings are neighbors. Everyone's completely distracted, every pony. This is what we've been needing. Okay, pause once more. Now, every pony, I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Well, you know, ponies don't have sleeves usually, but looky this. I can activate a bunch of tricks out here. And that makes my ships stronger. Um, volatile ammunition. Volatile explosives. Volatile reactive armor. Exotic gases as shields. Ex uh, we're just going to buy some more. Buy, buy, buy things. Give me. Um, exotic gases for shield boosts. Um, and that's really it. And that just made my ships a lot stronger. Oh, looky. Look at this. Look at these griffins. <laughs> they can't leave. <laughs> you can't leave this. You thought I'm just, I was just going to let you, like, go? You don't do that around here. You, you don't just leave. Um, Antimatter missiles? Ooh, all the options that we have at this point, I like it. So what about the other units? Are those guys just hanging out? Yeah, they're basically just sitting guard if something happens. Like, if the dragons decide to, um, you know, put a put a knife in my back, we'll be ready for that. Okay, re reinforce our ships, every pony. We need as many ponies on here as we can have. Oh, looky this. They're sending more, more troops. Research complete. Oh, looky, looky, griffins. What are you doing? Surrendering already? They have to surrender, right? Well, technically, this isn't something that we claimed, but if there's, you know, ships around here that could do mischief to me... Ah, they got distracted by the station. Get them! Are they go- Yeah, they are going somewhere where, we, where we're trying to conquer anyway, so... Let's, um... Go for being ready. We're, we're gonna do a little bit of gambly business. Hostile and that is that these eight. ponies over here are actually gonna get sent over here and just hold this planet until we're done with conquering this whole whatever that is that little boot um i don't know that looks like a pickaxe every pony but that makes you wonder you know all those people and ponies that name star formations must 
must have one hell of an imagination to be able to do that and whoa. And they're just back back to trying to take their things. Yeah, this is this is why we need someone out here to be able to to properly guard this place. It doesn't need to be strong guards, it just needs to be someone there. It doesn't like need to be this, you know, over muscly pony it just needs someone there to keep watchy and, you know, deter people from coming because then we could tattletale and all that. Oh, look at that. The Pegasi are also coming through here. Those guys could really do us a good service. If the, if those, if the Pegasi start going this way, we're clear to do whatever we want over here. <laughs> and I will. I definitely will. Research complete. Okay, where, where are the ponies? Ah, they're on their way. It's still gonna take them a little bit. But I know this much. <laughs> they're not gonna try to go this way because there's a star base here. And that thing does, does mean some serious business. Huh? Cue to... Let's put something here. Anchorage and actually stick a shipyard in here as well. Put a little bit of this and a little bit of that just to make sure no one is gonna try anything I want these griffins out of the skies every pony um, more lifespan because eternity is fun and more hull points for my battleships every pony I think this is a good thing we could do to those griffins oh seriously what do these griffins want in space anyway should have stayed in your planet and griffin griffin stone and all look at that the, the Pegasus are doing our job. I like it. Just just beat each other up and uh, we'll, we'll we'll clean up the slack. We'll, we'll definitely clean up the slack, you guys. Don't mind us. Okay, let's take a look at the war. Incoming transmission. Uh, a gift? Oh, thank you, kind sir. Oh, seriously, I didn't expect a gift given to me like that, but I'll take it. We have 10 influence. That is like our most important thing and the strategy behind the build that we're using. It is to do everything with the addicts in here and to just being able to have these things on permanently every pony. Research complete. We do have a buff in place that makes it so these last for 18 years and like longer. So we're literally able to keep up edicts as a permanent thing and whoa we have electricity problems. Probably need to take care of that. Or most definitely need to take care of that. Um, market. Oh, why do we have this on? Get, get, get that away. We don't need that anymore. Research complete. There we go. Let's use Bulwark of Harmony. That's a very nice thing to get because um, when you're the one who's getting attacked in a defensive war, you get a lot of bonuses in your own borders, every pony, And that can definitely make a difference inside of a war and looky looky someone's actually coming this time someone's here look I knew this would be important oh you're not going anywhere now oh you are not going anywhere that's what I thought silly silly wait where are what what does a griffin ship even look like is it these I want to see is this like the purple ones I want to see. I can't see much though because everything's like super bright. Is it one of these? It is one of these. Let's take a look at this. I sometimes like admiring these. Look at these. These have like these little white golden beams but this is burning and you obviously have the unicorn ships that are just completely attacking them. Yeah, you came to the wrong neighborhood. Well, we came to theirs. But it's now our neighborhood, like the meme goes. Like the meme goes. Your neighborhood just became our neighborhood. But soon, it's gonna be my neighborhood. And technically, it already is. Yeah, just just go and attack everything. They, they can't really do much to me. Um, We need a leader in here, though. Get, give me... There's a Pegasus. Okay, you can come in. I think this is... Um, a pony called Lemonheart, every pony. Very nice one. She's always very cheerful and she knows how to make the best treats, every pony. 
Now, um, I feel we could do some wormhole traveling as well. Let's see, do I have... I, yeah, I have a wormhole, everybody. And this just became a very, Station very interesting Georgia. fight. We have our, you know, normal ponies here. We have Pegasi moving around here. And we have the Griffins that we're trying to beat up here. This is this has literally become a one-on-one-on-one. -on -one -on -one. We're not fighting the Pegasi actively, but we're definitely trying to make sure that, you know, the Pegasi take the blows in this fight, not me. <laughs> it's... how do I even describe this? It's, it's a war where you have, like... Two people that are trying to get rid of one thing, but those two people still kind of hate each other, but not that much. And um, maybe a war between those two is going to happen down the line, and we, we want to make sure that we're giving ourselves the advantages that can help us in a future war with Pegasi. Um, oh, look, it's... Um, it's even Earth Ponies out here. Sheesh, every pony's out here to get rid of these griffins. No one likes these. Research oh, more complete. griffins. Uh-oh. What's this? Okay, it's 1,000. You come over here right now. This is this is the space police. Your space police has determined that you're having cookies in your inventory. You surrender those to me. Oh, they're hurting, though. They're, they, they, do, they do good damage, though. We need to, we need to end this war fast. Yeah, I think we are. Um, there is a system with a planet, which is down here. Oh wait, are they actually gonna do this for me and attempt to take this? Let's take a Luxie armies. No, seriously, are they gonna? I think they just did. They just took it. They just took it for me, every pony. We got it. We're down to eight, and we basically just have to force them to lose some more um, units. I could do that. You want to have more war exhaustion? You want to lose more griffins? I don't mind to get my hose dirty for the likes of Construction you. Complete. Um, do I have a sign chip, everypony? Sign chips are probably one of the best things to have inside of a war, because when a ship dies, it leaves behind... Um, let's see, at least behind little, little parts of scrap and the sign chip can come in and research these and complete. steal their technology, every pony, which is a pretty good way to catch up to someone who's stronger than you on paper. Yeah, this this whole little branch is basically gone. I don't know what the Pegasus are gonna do to the to the Griffins as well, but Debris analyzed. I think they just lost like a third of their empire to me. <laughs> I like that. I definitely like the sound of that. And our influence that we gave out at the beginning of the war is already back halfway. What's actually stopping me from just claiming some more land? <laughs> Nothing? Nothing stopping me from claiming more land, right? I'm just gonna claim all of this then. <laughs> Yay! And suddenly we can claim more. Give me this too. I'm having everything. <laughs> I'm know. literally cutting their empire in half. <laughs> I should feel bad about this, but I don't. It's Griffin started every pony. They complained about noise. It's because they don't like parties. Well, too bad. You could join our parties and not be such a party pooper. Um. Should we expand our fleets? Ooh, look at our electricity. Electricity is actually kind of a, kind of an issue still. Um, let's use a... Do we already have... We don't? Oh, we do. We do we, an energy nexus. We're gonna, let's see if we can set up a bunch of these somewhere. There's one here. Game hasn't done it over here yet. A Bitharian power plant. Oh, this is exactly what we need. This is exactly what we need, every pony. Oh, railguns research is moving analyzed. along. Like it. And they're about to give up, every pony. They're about to call it a day here. You know what? Me too. But let's end this day on a high note by destroying one of their fleets and dismantling one of their star bases for fun. 
Ooh, these poor griffins. They really, really are probably going to be calm down the next time and accept their more powerful neighbors as their overlords, right? Does that count? Still don't count. I'll go over this way then. Oh, they're surrendering. They're, we're, they're ready to just give it a, <laughs> the best possible outcome. Oh, look at this! Look at this! We literally cut their empire in half! <laughs> oh, look at that! They're claiming everything that we just took from there. Like, oh, you took our land. How dare you take our land? No. We didn't take our land. It was, um... My land, and, um... It was your land, but then it was my land, and... When it's my land and I'm an alicorn that makes it my land for complete. good and you can like go? I I seriously don't know if this griffins understand the thinking complete. here, every pony, but it's an important thing. Okay, get, get rid of this thing. If you have too many star bases, you start getting penalties pretty quickly. Um okay, we have more things to research over here. Ah, another research that we research that we could have. Arc emitters. That's a powerful weapon as well. What kind of ships do I have? Ship designer. We should make a like um, custom battleship every pony. Let's do that. Um, no. Research New design battleship. So we have, I think, artillery cruisers and um, laser. Corvettes. We basically only have small and big ships, so let's make a really big ship. Let's just go for artillery. Just pure artillery. Debris. And uh, maybe do a little bit of this in the back. Or... Do we go for broadside? Um, do I have anything else that I could be using? What about a carrier? That could also be interesting, but I just prefer doing something power-like. Isn't there another type of weapon that you can have? I don't know what it is. I don't remember what it was, though. Um... I think it's being researched right now, actually. So for now, I guess we're leaving our, sh our fleets as they are, but we will be making a new... Wait. I was about to say we're going to make a new ship the moment that research is done. It just finished, so let's make the ship then. Um... More star bases, definitely a nice one to have. So, ship design, and let's just get cracking and put a bunch of neutron launchers in that. Less shield damage, let's, let's put something in here that's going to be able to actually hit shields. Yeah, let's use coil guns, what about these? Ooh, wait. Unselected. This is shield damage, we need shield damage, every pony. So just gonna use plasma cannons, or no, no plasma. We could use. Oh, this is just penetration. We actively need to get rid of shield. So it is coil guns for here. Um, I guess I can use a phase disruptor on one of these sides. Perfect. Hyper shields. Neutronium armor. Um, advanced afterburners. We can use regenerative tissue as well to make sure our ships don't, you know get chewed up this easily and I'm gonna call this um let's see what is a creative cookie name like for something that's supposed to just hit you really hard and quick let's call this the double double chocolate cake cookie wait did, did it take that it did double chocolate cake cook oh you can't have more double chocolate cookie Oh, that's perfect. Double chocolate cookies. Here we go. So much chocolate that you're immediately going to feel like you're in another dimension or something, right? I like that. Anyway, ships can go home. They did their job well. Um, what's this? Okay, research arguments have been... Um, agreements have been broken between some griffins. 
Um, I wonder if he can, what if he can wipe them off the map today? I, I, I'm gonna try. I'm definitely gonna try to get rid of these guys today. Especially if they're still, you know, fighting with someone else. Uh, they're not, oh, look at that. Strength, pathetic. Fleet power is equivalent, though. That's because we're fighting with the Pegasi. <laughs> like I said, we just turned that into a fair fight. <laughs> I like it. I very much like it. Can we, like, make this fleet bigger? We can. Or better said, it, it needs to be re reinforced while we're at it. Construction complete. Should I just send a second fleet down here? So have a few more choices? I think that's probably the best way. We have so many resources. Let's just make a new fleet. We don't need to be greedy around here. New fleet. And we are making use of... Um, wait, where are we going to base these? We, we need to come up with a place to spawn them. Does this have... Yeah, Valdux has a... Um, space station where we can make ships. Assign base. Um, add ship design to fleet. We're gonna use chocolates, um, milk, and double chocolate cookies. Milk cookies are amazing, every pony. I don't think humans have them, but they're a pretty, pretty amazing treat. Especially when you're like sitting at home in an afternoon and just want a tiny sweet snack. It's one of the best things that can happen to you Okay, let's make let's make something that has just like 60 or 70 command power We don't need anything too too big every pony. We don't need something too great complete. We just need enough to be to be threatening to someone when when someone finds these uh, Let's take these down yeah, that's good enough. And make it. Wait, 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 wait. We have too many star bases. Where do I have a star base too many? Uh, what does this do? This does nothing. Downgrade it. Perfect. More research. Let's give ourselves crystal mines. Ooh, more rail guns. Actually, we need we need more rail guns. Um. I thought this is being automated. It's messing up things. We need more housing. Fine. Let's take care of this. Housing. It could be more things that we could build. Um, uh, I don't know. Chemical plants. Aloe foundries. We're, we're just gonna willy-nilly it. What is this? Okay. It needs more housing. Well, this can we're get more housing. How do I how do I fix the amenities? Probably could put another building in here at some point. Ugh. Upgrade that definitely. And let's do to this to this one as well. The frontier sector we're gonna do that another time because frontier usually is like the new ones, and those don't need immediate attention right now. Improved strike craft. Strikecraft is like um, you're having a ship inside of a ship or a bunch of ships inside of a ship that are like tiny and supposed to just overwhelm someone's defenses. Ooh, look at the amount of trade that I could be getting from having this. Is there is there a star base that I can like um, to sacrifice right now? Wait, what? There's a lot of pop-ups. Let's just get rid of you. And rebuild a starship or starbase right here with the same traits and we'll have the advantage of getting the 23 trade now trade is something that um, some pony explained to me that it can um, turn into many things depending on what you wish now if you look in policies and economic policies construction complete wait there's here it is trade policy see it can uh, Turn trade value into energy or um, unity or something else. Whatever we'd be needing. And right now, we have a lot of good things for consumers. Doing very, very well. Construction complete. <sighs> oh. Oh. Uh, mm. Yeah. 
Now looky, we're only down to 50 energy credits, and if I just use capacity overload, boom. We are back to a stunning 209 energy, because our empire is big, and our ambitions are even bigger, and we can do anything we please. Construction complete. Okay. Look, Velvet Remedy's doing science. Then you have this changeling, and here's Octavia? That's an unlikely engineer, but I definitely don't mind. Okay, that is a lot of ships. We have 20,000 on this border. These these changelings are about to be in trouble. <laughs> or not changelings. These, these griffins are about to really, really be thrown out of their own house. Or, um, nest. Why are you wasting our time? I'm... Oh yeah, I'm not gonna waste your time much longer because your time's running out. Ah, these griffins are gonna pay. What about... What about the, the Pegasus? Are those guys still... Border friction? A rival? What are they rivaling us for? And you're not even a, a Pegasus. Uh, let's see, when's the next time I can attack these anyway? A truce until six years. You know what, we're gonna wait complete. till those years are over, po possibly gonna make a cut, and then complete. we're just gonna straight up walk into them. All that we have to do is claim their planets, and then we're through. But one thing that I don't have yet is a ground army. That is something that I do want to make before complete. I do make a cut, otherwise it's not gonna make sense where those come from. Um, let's send the ground armies this way, and we're making more. Canterlot is making more armies. Um, let's recruit some psionic unicorns. That's basically, you know, um, battle mages, every pony. Compared to regular unicorns. And got it. Okay, I'll see you in a moment when the griffins are ready to be attacked again, and then we're gonna go in for the killing blow. Well, 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 Larry Pony. Remember when I told you about the dragons and them mucking up? Look, they decided to be mean to the Earth Ponies, and now the Earth Ponies are integrating, um... The Dragon Kingdom, so soon there is no Dragon Kingdom, it's all gonna be Earth Ponies, oh boy! Construction complete. Okay, my ships have been upgraded, every pony's feeling ready. I hope these griffins are ready because they are about to be taken off of the map. We have declared war. Wait, look, they've also declared war on someone. They need, they need the territory because, um, the territory that they have right now is not going to be theirs anymore after this war. Spoilers. Claim this. And we're just going to fly right through and take everything that's in our path. Ready or not, here we come. Oh boy, this is like a game we're of hide and seek. Complete. Except there isn't a lot of hiding you can do. Um, start orbital bombardment of the Hollow Shades. Um, we're bringing in a unicorn fleet. We're gonna make more unicorn soldiers as we move. More unicorns and everything else, please. Yeah, we're just recruiting everyone at this point. Recruit all the armies. La 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 la, there we go. Um, stronger missiles even? Yes, please. Well, these guys here, they can also help me do some bombarding on here. So we're already standing here with about 50,000 fleet strength. These guys will definitely not want to have to do something against us. But, their fleet power is now considered pathetic. I think that's the combination of us upgrading and them being in another war. So all they have now is shambles to try and defend themselves, which is not going to help them. And I've been given friends to help me already. How did they come over here? I think it's... I know what it is! It's the wormhole! 
It's the wormhole. That's how they always get over here. It's the wormhole. The ultimate plot twist. I was always wondering where those guys are coming from. I don't mind them being here. Research complete. Wait, did they? Did they just? Oh, for a second I thought they just like immediately landed here. Okay, they're down to 300 health. Get ready to invade Hollow Shades. We're gonna take them out. Planetary invasion begun. All right, invasion is on its way. Let's see if you can't move into another area of the, of the map here. Okay, this one goes this way, and the bigger unit goes this way. We're gonna make a move onto their capital very soon. Their capital is getting swallowed, and then we're just making a run for over here. I don't know if we need all of this to consider them off the map, but we're gonna take it, and they can't stop me. You can't stop me now. We're having such a good time. I'm having a party. Oh, sorry. Um, this way and this way. Let's send the armies this way and then take this planet over here. We got to be careful about these because armies are like ground units. They don't have a lot of business in the air, every pony. So you need to make sure to not send them through occupied airspace. Ooh, moving to Rocky Not. Oh, they're gonna help us. Very nice. Um. Uh... Yeah, orbital bombardment, orbital bombardment, the Crystal Mountains. How much fleet power is that? Okay, we're moving in onto their capital. Here it goes. What about Crystal Mountains? Do they they have a little bit of defense, I guess? Nothing, nothing to write home about though. Let's let's take a look at this battle for the capital. Ooh, their space station is is crumbling in about two seconds. We're running out of a scientist. Here we go. Complete. There's a scientist. Done. More science. More science. There. Yeah, but I'm not paying attention. I just want to see the war. And this game made me miss it because of all the silly prompts. Guess game salty about you know losing its footing against me. Okay, let's do this one piece at a time. Land the armies. How much does he have over here? Not as much, actually. Not as much. We're just we're just gonna fall in on, and we're just gonna collapse. We're just gonna collapse right on top of them. And now we're gonna send the science ship to go in here and start researching our feathered friends here. You apparently have aggression problems, and always like to attack everybody. Well, I like attacking things too, but they're worse. Look, they're attacking someone while they're. Um, about to be dead. Instead of being nice to your neighbors and asking for help, they only are um, caring about other Research things. Complete. Okay, wait, what? Huh? Excuse me? Oh no, embark them all. She's where did all the I was about to say, where'd all these armies come from? We already conquered them. That went incredibly quick. Okay, next stop is to go this way. Land armies on Rocky Not Rocky Nate Cliffs. This way. This way. We're gonna leave ourselves open. Planetary invasion begun. And I think that's pretty much it. The Griffins are off the map with this. Yeah, that that's it. I think Three. everything that they've done is basically out the window. Do I like have to conquer the stuff that they did as well? Do I have to go for that? I don't know. But at least they don't have a capital anymore, and they're basically on the run from this point forward, and I like it. Huh, <laughs> silly Griffins. What did they think was gonna happen? That, that we were gonna pet them and say, hey, it's okay. You can you can always take your things from our grounds and um, do whatever you want to pony kind. Oh no, ponies will fight back. I will fight back and you don't want me as your enemy. 
because I'm crazy, and you don't want a crazy enemy. Uh, do this, and a little bit of uh, missiles. Okay, next up is this way and this way. Oh. No route for the selected fleet to find. Go this way, and these are then gonna go this way. We're gonna split them up and see if we can take something back here. M oh, we already have a lot of influence. Maybe we can take these two as well. We're gonna have one huge empire at the end of this every pony. We are approaching 40 minutes, but it is looking very amazing. And I think that's their last planet down here. I don't, don't they like automatically lose if you take all their planets? I don't think they've taken another. Uh, I don't think so. Doesn't doesn't seem like they've taken another. another. We're just gonna take this planet and see what happens. Research complete. All right. Get ready to land on um floor. That doesn't even sound like a changeling home. Pretty sure they took that too. Well, now I'm taking it. So I double took them. I took took it. I feel awesome about this. More research projects. Nice. Okay, these ponies can go... Oh, they've closed their borders. Well, we can't go into their borders then. And, you know, get rid of the changelings. So I guess that's as far as we go. Wait, do they have, like, any other little enclave that they could, like, beat us with? Any little spot of... Griffins that we may have missed somewhere. I hope don't hope so. If you've missed any Griffins, we're, we're in trouble. Complete. But this has to be the last. <laughs> this has to be the last thing that they have, right? This has to be it. Okay, go every pony and dragon. Wait, that that is a dragon commander. And that should any be it. That should be it. No more Griffins. Yes. Griffins have been wiped off the map, every pony. I consider that a wide success. The star nation formerly known as Griffin Dynasty of Rocky Nate has been destroyed by its enemies. Ah, uh, yes, it has. Oh well, every pony. What you learn from that? Do not aggravate ponies. All right, every pony. But I suppose with that, I thank all you lovely ponies so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. And remember, every pony, if you complain about noise, remember to be nice about it and not do what griffins do otherwise you'll be wiped off the face of the galaxy also if you want to see more videos like this make sure to subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified whenever there's a new video and there's new stuff here every single day including a pony who will stand up to his very very noisy neighbors hmm.